So here's the thing, it's uh, almost a year since my dad passed and I feel like I'm counting down the days and uh, I don't really want to celebrate a year of him passing. I suppose it's something you acknowledge rather than celebrate. Um, but uh, I've kind of always, you know, had this real philosophical bent on, on passing and uh, I kind of thought uh, arrogantly that I was prepared for all the stages. And what surprises me are the bits that I keep coming up against that I just didn't see coming. And one of the bits that I really did not see coming is uh, not the part where I miss him. I, I, kinda, I got that I was gonna miss him, I got that, right? But actually the bit where I miss his particular quality of loving me, I really miss being loved by him. I really miss that. I really miss being his daughter. That's just taken me out at the knees this week. Like actually deeply missing being his daughter and being loved by him. It's a real particular thing that I'm not gonna get to experience anymore. I don't feel like I'm going to get to experience it again other than to remember what that is. And it's made me want to be so vividly cognizant of the different kind of ways people love me as a stamp of their love upon me and, and register it. Because now I wish I could go back and, and register all the little micro ways that he loved me, all the little ways that he'd, he'd kind of fold his face around the joy of seeing me or watch my stories reflected in his eyes, you know, in the bewilderment or the kind of wonder of his eyes or the concern of his eyes even. Now I'm looking for that in the way in my loved ones. I'm looking for that. I'm looking for how, how do they love me? What is the quality of their love for me? What is the quality of my love to them? I want it to be overt now almost to be make sure that they, they kind of know it. I want to make sure I know it in coming from other people. Yeah. So there's this this grief and there's this also this kind of awakening of wanting to drink in the quality of people's love. Yeah, that's what I'm really thinking about <laughs> at the moment. And it partially takes me out at the knees and also brings me right into the experience of what it is to be loved. So yeah, there's a gift in there, I suppose. Yeah.